Denver. A divided Colorado Supreme Court on Tuesday declared former President Donald Trump ineligible for election to White House under U.S. Constitution's Insurrection Clause. Removing him from state's presidential primaries and likely returning decision to nation's highest court started a showdown. Whether frontrunner for the GOP nomination can stay in race. The decision by a court whose justices are all appointed by Democratic governors marks the first time in history that Section 3 of the 14th Amendment has been used to disqualify a presidential candidate. Colorado's highest court reversed a district court judge's decision that found incited an insurrection for his role in the attack on the Capitol on Jan. 6. 2021. But said Trump could not be disqualified from voting because could not be disqualified from voting. The provision was intended to cover the presidency. The court delayed its decision until Jan. 4. When the U.S. Supreme Court rules on the case, Colorado officials say issue must be resolved by Jan. 5. The deadline for state to print presidential primary ballots. Trump's legal spokeswoman, Alina Habba, said in a statement Tuesday night this decision by the Colorado Supreme Court strikes at the very heart of this nation's democracy. This will not continue. And we believe the Supreme Court will overturn this unconstitutional decision. Ronna McDaniel, chairwoman of Republican National Committee, called decision election interference and said RNC's legal team plans to help Trump fight decision. Trump lost Colorado by 13 percentage points in 2020 and doesn't need the state to win next year's presidential election. But the danger for the former president is that more courts and election officials will follow Colorado's lead and exclude Trump from must-win states. Dozens of lawsuits have been filed nationally disqualify Trump under Section 3, which was designed to prevent former Confederates from returning government after the Civil War. It removes from office anyone who swears to support Constitution and then engages in insurrection or insurrection against it, and has been used only a handful of times since the decade after Civil War. Derek Muller a Notre Dame law professor who follows Chapter 3 cases closely, said after Tuesday's ruling I think it may embolden other state courts or secretaries to take action. Once the bandages are off, this is a major threat to Trump's candidacy. The Colorado case is the first in which the plaintiffs were successful. After a week-long trial in November, District Judge Sarah B. Wallace found that Trump had indeed engaged in insurrection by inciting attack the Capitol on January 6, and that her decision-keeping Trump ballot was a highly technical one. Trump's lawyers convinced Wallace that because phrase in Section 3 refers officers of United States who are sworn to uphold Constitution, phrase should not apply president who is not listed as an officer of Constitution. Elsewhere in D.